Hello folks and welcome back to Ixion, the Tycoon, and the mess that's going on ongoing on my ship. I'm trying to basically get some more alloy, and this is proving very difficult indeed. Very, very challenging, getting the alloy we need. <sighs> this thing is basically working off the bone. I need to get enough alloy to be able to build this full, fully, which is difficult to say the least. Okay. Right. Thankfully, we're back up to stuff. We got a new a new science ship. Good. Okay. What's in the Plymouth? Our probe has detected the presence of cavities beneath the planet's surface. Oh God! We need, why do you need alloy? No, I don't have. I haven't. I haven't got the alloy. We have landed on Plymouth thirty-seven. Sorry, uh, those regions are picking up our infamous chambers are similar to those from strong nuclear reactions. So we have landed on Plymouth thirty-seven. The opaque atmosphere lets us lets in hardly any light. Geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We have set up the location of one of the cavities. Uh, let's perform some in intrusive analysis. Because I can't do anything else. If I leave the planet's abandonment. Um, do I wait? I might wait. You know what? We're going to wait. We're not going to do that effect right now. The steel the mill is down?! Why is the steel? Oh, for God's sake, we're in serious trouble now. Can I get the Chevy? Oh, it's no, I can't. It is. Oh, we go through the dangerous areas. Damn. Okay, probe. I need something over here that I can I can fly to. Anything over here I can fly to to get a, a better arc. No, there isn't anything over here, is there? Damn. Right, what about over here? We can go down there, I guess. Uh, anything over here? Who's something over here? Uh, over where? Where? Are we look? We're looking. We're looking. There. Right. <sighs> Fine. God damn it. Got to. You couldn't even. <gasps> you can't leave. All right. Intrusive analysis. And if I can't leave, intrusive analysis. And that's going to be down for two days, which means we're going to be in serious trouble as we run out of alloy. And eight people are hurt, which means I'm surprised we have enough people working here right now. No point four. And now what? Now we what? Why? Oh my God! Please stop it. Uh, so where are we? We are sensitive to done. Analysis of the sediment residue allowed our team to identify a relationship with, between the subterranean nuclear activity and the wave-like formations of the planet's surface. Okay, good. As we were preparing to take off, we spotted a biological geological formation that appears to house some sort of cave dwelling. We are requesting permission to investigate the site. Sure. Investigate the site. Let's lose the ship as well, why not? Oh my god, I can't believe that. How are we doing for here? We're doing okay? We're doing okay. Good. Um, infirmary. Where are you? Where is infirmary? KP, technical workshop, science, infirmary there. Five more bits. I don't want more beds. I want faster healing. <laughs> I don't want more beds. I want faster healing. Oh, God. Uh and we're now, now we're out of here. We're now out of... Oh, God. Happy New Year, Administrator. Thrykel C65. Yeah, Happy New Year. Crop farms. How big are these? These are actually way smaller. Holy crap. Okay, these are smaller. So we need crop farms. They cost 30 each. They generate waste. They generate I'll require one electronics each. Damn. I guess in which case, if more proof of proof were needed, that we need a way to generate more electronics, which is using this thing. Eventually electronics factories. Oh god. Game is hard, yo. I need 
to be able to like we should be able to we should be have enough here but it's not working out after approaching the supposed location of the troglodyte dwellings, we, they were revealed to be nothing more than an optical illusion. This effect was caused by the light filtering through the thick fog of Plymouth 37th atmosphere. Okay, no aliens for us today. Now that we have both waste treatment, fusion systems, and crop farms... Neocont protocols have identified a new planet suitable for our colonization test program. What? Deville 59 is eligible for colonization testing. We haven't got, we have no colonists. Okay, so we're just going to do this over there and do that over there. Oh, our pollen integrity is so bad. So bad. Like all the, all the, all the, all the ally we have here comes over here. The entirety of the alloy comes over, comes over here. All of it. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. A group of crew members are complaining about the high levels of smoke and noise in Sector 1. The well-being of the crew is a condition for the mission's success. It must be balanced against maintaining efficient industrial production. I cannot stop production of alloy for 10 cycles. Are you insane? We have max trust right now. We cannot afford to stop production. We have max trust. I cannot stop production right now. Colonists. Colonists are non-workers that have been trained in colonization training center. Colonists are crucial for colonization events. The number of colonists within the tycoon is shown by hovering the mouse over the population icon at the top of the screen. You can transport colonists to a destination using your cargo ship. They are represented by the population icon. Okay. I cannot. In no way, shape, or form. Let's resume this real fast and get that over there. Good. Pause it again. Um, slowly, every once in a while, just drip feed some alloy into that thing. Are you done yet? You are done. So, I cannot make the Chevy. So, we're going to go to Parenti. It's got 30. All right, let's see. What else can we get right here to make my life a bit easier? Tycoon Hull? Nope. Stockpile Small? Nope. Uh... Airlock. Construction speed increased. Repair efficiency increased. I think that would be nice. Uh, batteries. Solid state batteries increases. Battery power capacity increases. Charging speed. Fusion station. Fire station. Mushroom wall gives us food from waste. Which at least it's something to do with waste, but I want to get stuff over there. You know what? DLS center. Let's, build a, let's make a DLS center. At least I have the option to make a DLS center. I've got no alloy to build anything. So, I'm not entirely sure. It's only been a year. Good heavens. It's only been a year. How the hell has it only been a year? Bloody hellfire. Um, okay. Oh, probe. Um, probe. Anything over here? Low levels of a bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's, some, there's something in here. But I, we're going to die if we go over there. I assume. That's over here. A bunch of signs over there. Okay. Uh, again, again, all this purging of stuff here would be so helpful. Resume that real fast. I'm going to leave this on for the time being. I'm going to leave that on for the time being so we get some work done. We're going to lose some health integrity, but if we get something out of this. Parenti 85. It's a gas giant. We don't have the equipment to perform operations on gaseous planets. Okay, so we'll just grab the science out of that. It'll be useful. And we'll move on to other stuff. Bringing back the iron. We're actually full right now. It's all, it's all that bloody silicon. All that bloody silicon we had there. Oh god, okay. Get the iron in there, get that in there. Come on, thank you. 
The DLS center has been unlocked. So, stability, DLS center. 35. Unlocks the ability to apply policies within a sector to temporarily address ongoing crises and track sector specializations. Again, if I get this up and running over here, I'll look forward to it. I'm only for people here. Negative. Workers available, workers injured. So I could actually build you here. I don't have the alloy. I cannot build anything right now. I'm going to pause you because I need to I need to rebuild my alloy stock. It isn't really an alloy stock, but I need to rebuild something here. Uh, are you done? Yeah, move over there, please. Probe. Anything along the way. Anything else in the middle here? No, it's just the thing over there, isn't it? Ah, damn it. Put a bunch of carbon over there. A bunch of carbon... Okay, we'll put that there, might as well. At the moment, we have a massive lacks of... And get all that iron in here. This is important. Turn that on real fast. Turn that off again. Man, let's think about this. Let's let, let, let's pre let's let pre think about how this is going to work out because we kind of we now know what sizes we're dealing with here for food, right? A crop farm is a three by six, and a fusion plant is a six by twelve. So do that. Okay, so basically, if you do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do that, and then put that there. And you can put like a fusion plant. Uh, hang on. Oh, no, that works because the fusion plant's gonna hit that, isn't it? You're gonna hit. If I build a fusion station, it's gonna be over there, and that's gonna be happy-ish. We'll have like a water, a, a nice storage here or something. Oh, wow, I can do this. Wow, never. Yeah, I can. I can. Has never bothered to actually do it. Um, I could just grab the silicon out of there and put it in here briefly, but it's not gonna. It's gonna be a waste. Right. Okay. Right. Turn it on real fast. Sixty-five. Close it down. Sixty-six. I'm going. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Welcome to Deville Fifty-Nine. Deville 59 is eligible for colonization testing. We have landed on Deville 59. Despite the cold and harsh environment of the planet, the atmospheric conditions of gravity are remarkably similar to Earth's. There are large bodies of frozen water on the planet's surface. Establish basic Nikono, Nikond colony infrastructure. Requires 40 alloy. Oh god. 40, 40, 40, 30, 30, 60, 60, 60. And leave the planet and return later. Thankfully, we can leave the planet and re return later. Right. Uh, Calypso, go to Rokotansky. An accident has occurred in the, uh, the workshop. That's not great. Oh, a lot of people coming out of coming out of woundedness now. Please stop getting hurt. Please stop getting hurt. The moment we're still kind of breaking even on food, thankfully. I need to make sure we get. Oh, nope, never mind. It happened here as well. Injuries seem to happen at the same time. They seem to be coordinated injuries. Right, move that over there, please. Right. Briefly. A science ship has arrived. A science ship has arrived to Rokotansky D73. So where are you at? Over here. A probe has detected an unusual electromagnetic signal on the comet Rokotansky D79. Calypso team reporting, we have landed on Rokotansky D-79. The icy comet is barren, but its rotation causes shadows to dance across its surface quite beautifully. Flurries of snow move erratically around the comet, perhaps because of an abnormally high gravity. The signal appears to be transmitting it from a cave. A glacial mass blocks its entrance. We await further instructions. Oh god, I have I have not got alloy for this. I don't have alloy for this. Explosives are gonna cause me a problem. I don't want to leave forever. I'm gonna do that. Fine. Fine. It's gonna cause a lot of grief right now, but we're gonna see about. A building stock has been disabled due to strike. Maintain positive sanctuary stability for one cycle. A violent strike has started on board the tycoon. Wait. 
I'll wait for one cycle or keep positive stability for one cycle. No. Rights are broken out in the station. Okay. I mean, if they think they can do better, by all means. A sector stability is low enough for a prolonged period of time, your workers will go on strike. Crew will stop working and buildings will close for the duration of the strike. I mean... Oh, yeah, loads of things are closed at once. That's fine. No, it's not fine. It's bad. 30 crew members are injured. 30 crew members are injured. Hang on, what, what the hell just... Why are 30 members injured all at once? What happened? I'm not sure why 30 members are injured all at once. This is about... People are going to start dying now. After a few seconds, I'm not hospitalized. Well, they're going to die because I have no... I cannot build an infirmary center. You all have no idea how this even... How the plant... How this just... This place even functions. I mean, by all means, do what you need to do, but we're going to fall apart and die. I am the only person here who seems to care about anything that you have to say for yourselves. So, you know, if you want to strike and then cause issues and violently riot, by all means, do so. But at, at some point, I'm going to reach the, the level where I just chuck people out an airlock. You know, that's the, we're just going to get to that point at some, at some, at some, at some, at some level. We're going to go out the airlock you go, because frankly, right now, I cannot be dealing with other things. 15 people died. They just died from their injuries. And frankly, that's on them because they came out of nowhere. We get to wake up. We get to wake some people up and wake up, wait, uh, get people up to, to 270 again. We are definitely under working conditions, because of course we are. We're going to wake up 15 people now. You thought it was a good idea to go on strike. I thought it was, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep you alive over here, but apparently you don't care about that, so. How are we working at 18... How are we working at this such a high efficiency? 82% efficiency. We've, we've never been that high efficiency before. Hoverboard costs 7 per cycle. Oh, heavens. 57. Oh, these are all off. Okay, turn this on again. There we go. Turn that on again. We need to get people active. Two seventy three. We're gonna, we're gonna we'll turn some numbers off soon enough. Just hit, let's let that let's let that hit two seventy first. When that hits two sixty seven, I turn this off. Two They died of their own thing. You know what? They just died of their own thing, and frankly, that's entirely on them. It is. I'm sorry. It just is. A science ship team has completed a task. 265. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Of course it has. The comet has been partially surveyed. Analysis from the rock's ice samples has established new theories about the forces at play on comets, such as Rocket Dansky D79. However, the team was unable to pierce through the thick ice of the glacial mass. Leave the planet. Please, while we collect some science there. Accident happening here. Repair the tech lab, please. Uh, 276, 277. So we close that off. So how are we doing with people here? 276, 20 workers injured. So the second they're no longer injured, we're fine. 278. Oh, it's 268 now. They're left. Plain in security protocols indicate that the crew on board the Calypso is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation via the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears that these new crew members are indeed human and possess a good knowledge of Dulles protocol and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they have always worked on the Tycoon, but their biometric data does not match with any of the crew's register records.
There were people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone pointed out that I, I, I basically I let a murderer back onto the, the station last time. And uh, this is not the original crew. I've been touched the observation that the ships of our surveillance system issues. These are new members are indeed human and possess a good knowledge of Dolish protocol and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they have always worked on the Tycoon, but their biometric data does not match any of the crew register records. Goodbye. Those protocols when you don't take any necessary risks when it comes to potentially dangerous or con contagious encounters. Once the Calypso leaves the vicinity of Rokotansky D-79, the self-destruct sequence will be initiated. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but, uh, no. I'm not having that. Which means I have to build a new science ship. I'm gonna have to build a new science ship. <laughs> I'll turn that off again. And people- and five more people are gonna die. How are we doing on workers then here? We got 177. <sighs> to be fair, now it might be worth building the in increased beds in this place. It'll take what? It'll take me two and a half cycles to do? Fine. I'm not overly happy with that, but whatever. Well, we'll turn off the probe launcher for the time being as well. Okay. Resume that briefly. No, okay, so that is completed task. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. We just blew them up. Because they were not us. New request. Hi. Administrator, the loser clips has lost a spread throughout the station. Our explosion teams have a reputation of not only being the most well-trained members of our crew, but also the best prepared. They are mentors and role models for the people of the Tycoon, explorers whose courage surpasses fear. The loss of an entire team has done a great damage to the psychological balance of the station. We will remember them. Yes, because they died before this. Which means now we're no losing trust at a large speed. And these are that's a permanent loss. Oh heavens. Oh hell. Hell's bells and buckets of blood. Ah, uh, balls. Okay, anything in the alternative life center that can improve stuff? No, I cannot make anything else improve things. So we're just going to be losing. We're going to be losing trust a cycle. So we're dead in about what thirty cycles? No, twenty cycles. We're dead in twenty cycles. Okay. We're dead in 20 cycles. If nothing else happens first, we are dead in 20 cycles. An accident has occurred <sighs> Yay, more crew more crew members are wounded. Well, frankly, folks, I think that humanity doesn't really deserve to survive at this point. You had a lot of s such closed mindedness, such incredible levels of closed mindedness just have just not happened at all frankly, that um, I'm genuinely surprised that we've that we've been alive for this long. People are under not understanding that we are so close to extinction as a species. We've not found the other people. We have no clue if they're alive. We've found evidences of aliens, of, of non-human things attacking. There's... We've had to flee the planet Earth because it's uninhabitable, and we're still fighting as a species. 267, turn this off. You know, they're making these decisions. They're making these calls. Like, that's on them. That's 100% on them. We have the, the Thales now. Hi. Go back to Rokotansky and pick up the science that's there. Like, they've, they've made these decisions. That was their call. They made these decisions to know, you know what? It, things are bad here. So we're gonna, you know, just not do that. Let's pump it a little bit higher. Boop. Okay. This will require 20 people. They're almost 15 are almost done up there. We now have 20 beds there and 20 beds here, two of them there. There's a strike going on over is there? Oh. What exactly do you want me to do about it, Eden? Like what exactly I can't build anything. I have got no ability to build anything right now because I've got no resources. 
I don't particularly think I wasted any of them. Was I meant to be more aggressive early game? Let's like really go nuts and like build three steel mills, expand to like three other sectors. I don't think I would have had the ability to recover from the, from the hull integrity loss at that point. You know? Like all the science we got over there. When, you know what? Can you, can you get to Chevy? You can get to Chevy, kind of, from there. Give it a shot. Maybe we lose you again. But I think, I think, folks, we might be in a death spiral right now, because I have no idea. We cannot build enough things to, to keep people happy right now. We just can't. The best thing I can have at the moment is slowly work this up. Slowly build this up. Okay, it's being built. Good. Which means that eventually we'll start grabbing, getting a bunch of this waste is going to be put into here. And that waste is going to turn into alloy. And that's going to be, hopefully, a way to, to progress at this point. But it is messy, and we're losing trust, and I have no idea how to deal with that trust. Discovering the fate of Protagoras. But to the, to the point... Hang on, pause. That actively finding that mining ship was a negative loss for us. Because the loss... Because then, if we hadn't found that mining ship that got shot by... Um, by the UN ship... We would we would have we don't we would not have lost that um, point of stability. The Dead Earth Syndrome is a permanent syndrome that that'll go on forever. And frankly, if people want to be that melancholic about it, then that's that's on them. That's entirely on them. Okay, you got to Chevy. Thank God for that. And that's a, that's also that's also oh for God's sake, fine. Go back to there just because it's a way out of here. To the point of actually hang on, can we research deep dive up rat? You were just built. You were just built. Immediate accident. My crew isn't even trying anymore. They're not even trying, and I'm done helping them. <laughs> I'm done. They're not even trying anymore. Um I can see why they added a difficulty patch to this game. I can definitely see why they added a difficulty patch a difficulty update to this game. Um, because I think this is a game where your death spiral starts a long time ago. Like, I don't think I mismanaged something over the last episode or two. I think I mismanaged something back in the early days. And I don't know what it was, but I got this nagging feeling that this isn't recent. Something happened a very long time ago, and I didn't play optimally a long time ago, and this is just basically the tail end of the spiral still ongoing. Um... I was going to research something. What was I going to research? I was thinking of something to research right now. What was it? Ah, yes. Uh, deep dive apparatus. We, got, we, have, a, we have two. Um, deep. We have two of these now, anyway, so might as well make use of them. I just got another negative thing, didn't we? Yes, we did. You're on... Strike should be happening now. No, nope, never mind. Right. Now, you're supposed to be collected to... Oh, my God. I can't assign a stockpile to waste without a DLS center here. Which means I can't use this until I have... Oh, my God. This is a nightmare. This is a complete and total nightmare. Dismantle that, please. I'm going to dismantle the, the probe launcher. I'm dismantling the probe launcher entirely at this point. Turn that on, dismantle the probe launcher completely. And I'm going to build a DLS station here. I'll put a probe launcher somewhere else. Um, but my god. Okay, I'm going to also... Um, hang on, let me just switch over to that one. We're going to turn that up to 90. Why? Specifically because I want to be able to store the stuff here so I can build the DLS sector uh, place to move it on. I think we're in a death spiral, folks, so I'm going to do my best to try to avert it or whatever, everything, everything else that we can do here. 
Okay, build. Uh, stability, build a DLS center. Here. We're still in extra hours, apparently. Still active. Well, might as well turn you off for the time being. You're not required right now. Build that up. There's a strike occurring in 4.5 cycles here. Sorry. It's the way it works. Right. Here we're going to switch back to 50 50. DLS Center. Policies. Managing your sector. Policies are sector-specific measures you can take in response to various crises. They impact your living conditions with the crew within a sector. For example, they might change the sector's working conditions or resource management strategy. Okay, so DLS sector over here. Policies. Okay, we need, we need DLS. Okay, so we're... Um, crop out awakening workers first or everybody. Infirmaries are piled up. Normal. Starting population, keep working, stay home. Waste, race recycling. Why is race recycling a loss of stability? I don't understand that. Body recycling, corpses are turned into waste. Working hours, intense, normal, supported. Will they require more workers? Food, restricted, generous, normal. Propaganda, normal, intense. Oh, ooh. Okay, hang on. Is that... Propaganda is active. Okay, propaganda is active. That helps out here. So we can turn this on to waste. Turn that on there. Turn that on there. Start stocking this waste, people. Start stocking this waste recycling right now. Deep dive, deep dive practice is active. And the next episode, we'll do this, folks, because I think we're in the death spiral. So we'll see how what how it goes in the long run. Anyway, I'll catch you all next time, folks. See you then. Bye-bye.